Hello there, my name's Eleanor. I'm Phoebe. My name's Jordan. I'm Charlie. And Miss Samuel. We're going to get a rainbow. From Ivanhoe College. I mean, yeah. We've poured some milk into a Petri dish and now we're going to carefully add two drops of red food colouring from a pipette. Make sure they're on one side of the Petri dish. Now we're going to add two drops of blue food colouring. Make sure they're separate from the red. And finally we're going to add two drops of yellow food colouring, yet again separate from the other two colours. Looks orange to me. Now we're going to pour a big blob of <clears throat> washing up liquid in the middle of the Petri dish and this should help us do our results. Squeezy, squeezy. Wow, look at that. The washing up liquid does not mix with the milk. They are immiscible. Instead, it floats and spreads across the surface. As it spreads out, it picks up the food colouring with it. Where the primary colours, red, blue and yellow, meet, they combine to form new secondary colours, purple, orange and green. As you can see, our results are, are starting to take place. The the blue is starting to go near the red and the red is starting to mix with the yellow. And the yellow is going to sooner or later go with the blue. This will help <coughs> us form a rainbow inside the Petri dish. If you want to do this experiment at home, make sure you get supervision from people like in your science teacher or your parents. It's a fun project, but it takes a while. It is evident that the, two, that the three colours are now starting to mix. As you can see, green is starting to form and the blue is making its way into the red. Thank you for watching our show. I hope you enjoyed it. Do you think we've caught a rainbow? I think so. Sooner or later, I think the rainbow is going to really stand out. It will take some time to form a rainbow though, so please be patient.